So we are finally here with the team of the year midfielders. Bellingham, De Bruyne, Bon Matty, Putielis, I want to say. We're going to have a look at the full team in a second, but we have got some content for you today. We have done a video on the main channel for the team of the year draft. That is going to give you a lot of packs, Dumfries and also Dante, as well as just an enormous amount of packs there. We haven't got our year in review. That is going to come on the 26th. So we've got five more days to get that done, meaning we've got 11 days still on the year in review one, which is absolutely fine. I believe that is all objectives for the moment. We haven't seen anything more as of yet. In terms of SBCs, we have got ourselves our moments. Morgan, she has only gone up a plus one as well. 92 rated on it in comparison to the 91. That is what I want to see because we've got 88, 87, 86, 85. Three team of the weeks needed. So actually going to be a semi-expensive, semi-expensive being the right word. We're looking at two, no, we're looking at 487,000 coins. She's too upgraded from her normal one, actually. So if we go to Morgan, because she has got a 90 rated with the wild card. So we've got the 90 rated or the 92. We've got a four on the pace. We've got two shooting. We've got three passing, one dribbling. We've got two defending and also three on the physicality. She's got no difference in skill move. Play style plus is the same. So nothing crazy difference there. Did we get anything out? Did I go the wrong way? No, she is the same the whole way. I'm just, uh, like, in terms of the upgrade, I'm not seeing 400,000 coins worth of difference here. So what is she in this version? We're looking at 200. So if you've already got this version, I just don't see the point of, of putting in 480,000 worth of SBC fodder when we have got so much. We've still got Conte to come. We've still got Sour to come. There's a lot of upgrades available. So she's not she's not the right cup of tea at the minute. We also have the 88 plus base Thunderstruck or Winter Wildcard player pick. It will be a one of three. So that is going to be... A very, very good for a lot of people. I can imagine a lot will be getting some decent upgrades there. I will go over to Footbin and kind of go over what we can actually get. I'd say this is going to be as, as worth it as you can. Come on, how many repeatables we got? One repeatable so far. So I can imagine we will get it twice. Normally what they do is you get once repeatable and then in three, four days, just before it goes, it will be repeatable again. Two 86s, a team of the week and an 87. I don't think it's terrible. It's coming in at 278. So it will be interesting to see what the lowest 88s we could get in this. So if we have a look at the bases, that's going to be the the first step because they are going to be the cheapest so if we go concept we have got the 88 start oh my i'm seeing alan shearer it's it's one of them ones that it could be very good or insanely bad like if you get a michael owen coleman shevchenko kind of triple that is going to hurt very much so if so yeah there, there is still a, a hefty amount of kind of bases there is no centurions in this i don't believe because it isn't in the title, but if we go into Thunderstruck, we can get all of them are 88. So the hardest ones that will hit is Xabi Alonso, Skulls, Perez. So Campbell is okay, not a massive dub. Figo, uh, I'd be, uh, Nestor as well, I'd be very mortified, even Casillas. But there is still Cruyff, Pushgas, Muller, Ronaldinho, Henri, Dalglish is um, an SBC, so that's fine. Carfu would be a big one. Winter Wildcard. What are we looking here? Oh, we don't even have Ultimate Destiny, uh, Ultimate Dynasties either. So in terms of this, I believe every everybody's 88 as well. So Ian Rush, Trezeguet is an SBC. Keane's an SBC. Hernandez is an SBC. You can get Owen. That would be a big L. Uh, Raquel Me wouldn't be great. Suker is an SBC. Torres would be nice. Blanc's 40,000, so that would absolutely rock you. Closer won't be expensive. Loud drop won't be good. There is a lot of L's in this. It is, it, it totally is a massive gamble, as every icon pack, every sort of 83 times 10 is. But the, the payoff of a 96 Pele, Garincha, Yashin would be nice. Raul would be decent. So it, it's a hard one. I think if you are willing to gamble it and you maybe have got a lot of SBC fodder maybe you're not necessarily completing every player moment I could say it's probably worth it 
But that is not the main attraction for today because the main attraction is the fact that we can now get 99 rated evolution cards. It's not quite just from this one, but it has released it. We have got the team of the season, or team of the year in fact, Unsung Hero. So this is going to take a card to a plus 11. Max 79 overall, 79 pace, 77 dribbling and physical, center mid, Eight playstyles max and no playstyle pluses. We will get ping pass as a playstyle, anticipate, and long ball pass plus. So if we are looking at someone like, say, a Calvin Phillips, this is going to take him from 79 to 90. It is 350 FC points or 75k, so it does cost a little bit, but... That is pretty extraordinary. The one thing I want to know is, have I got any specials that can go in here? Clearly not them. So let me go and see. I wish that it would actually work with this. Because it would be really nice if I didn't have to scroll for everybody. Searching for illegible players. Let's keep going down. I've got a lot of Lib and Sud. I just want to get to the end of 79s to see if anybody's worth it. Like, oh, they've got to be center mid as well. Oh my god. I wish they'd just do this for me. Center mid special. That might help a little bit. So hopefully, oh, here we go. So 79, oh, okay. So we can't actually put anybody else in really by the looks of it. So it ha is going to have to be either golds or it is going to have to be somebody you have done from a start. So let's get in to the left-hand screen because we want to see is there anybody already in this upgrade. I don't know if it had been here by now. It could have been. No, it can't have been. So let's quickly go over to Footwiz to see the popular votes on this. Because we have got Adams at an 89, Basuma at a 90, and a 90 Calvin Phillips. So this gives us 11 overall, 9 shooting, 11 passing, 10 defending, 9 physical, the playstyle and playstyle plus that we suggested, 10 dribbling, 6 pace, and a weak foot upgrade. Very nice. So that, for me, is not a terrible one. What, what eligible players have we got? We got any specials, any foundations? By the looks of it, no. So is it Dominicus can go into it again? Does he go up to 89? That's, is it going to Unsung Evolution? That, hold on a second. Why did that not? Where's he gone again? Dominicus. Oh, okay. It's a different one. I was going to say, I was like, I swear it's not radioactive again. So the real one is that we can actually get a couple of 99s. So to be honest, I think you kind of have an idea in your head what a 99 looks of. And I'm kind of expecting at the minimum 90 pace. But when you really kind of deep it, 98 defending, 90 physical isn't bad. The only thing that I really want to see on this card is what's that 80 dribbling? Where is the composure at? Because that, that's going to be a big one for me. But also there is Howley. You can make him into a 99 center mid, 85 pace, which I think you could deal with. But 97 passing, 95 dribbling, 96 defending and 99 physical. I don't believe Footbin will allow you to do it in terms of show you what the card will be like because technically it is utilizing a different method. So as you can see, they can make them into 88. But what you do with something like this is, for instance, here. So you've got step one, complete keep up, but don't claim it. So that would be if we go over to the center screen. So keep up would be there so basically what they're saying here is you finish level one you finish level two but once you've completed all objectives don't claim it so it it does take it a little bit to get your head around why and, and what you have to do but then you go into complete fast forward but don't claim it as well so you've got to put him then into fast forward step three complete unsung hero and then you claim all the evolutions the only thing i haven't personally done is for instance, when you do keep up, so for instance, when we go, so say you get to this card, so it would basically look like that card still, but you have this ready. I don't know if you can claim, if you can put that into something, so mid evolution. So for instance, at the minute I've got Alaba and Kravatskilia, say I've done level two now for him, say I don't claim that version, I put the 87 into an upgrade. I didn't know you could do it mid evolution without it expiring so that's the bit that i've got to try and whack my head around it because the whole point of this is it isn't necessarily duke in the system but it is at the same time if you get what i mean you this is why it's not on footbin because technically you shouldn't 
you should always complete everything. That's how the, the algorithm works. If it if they did have multiple variants, so you could go from level one, don't complete it, put into level three of one evolution, put it into level one, the endless combinations would be, it would break footbin. I think there'd be far too many from bronzes, silvers. I just don't think it would work. But that is a crazy card nonetheless. That would be absolutely nuts to have our first 99 as you can see everybody is is losing their minds over it naturally we can have like a few decent ones now in terms of what we've gone so like this one so we've got complete keep up but don't uh, claim step two wait for keep up to expire use the claim to into step one team of the season visionary and then complete team of the season visionary and you'd get a 91 with two play star pluses it's decent. It's it's definitely now at a point where you've got to make your own evolution sort of thing. So it is really good if you've not already kind of gone on Twitter and had a look through evolutions. There's definitely some that you wouldn't have thought of because you're so, well, because everybody is so used to just completing it and waiting for the next one. But the first 99 is here, which is crazy. Now, the one thing I did want to see is what are we looking at for the team of the year men in midfielders? It's not looking great so far. So let's go over because they should be in not popular. In fact, are they in popular? Let's have a look. Oh, we do have a few then. So is it just the same? We've got Adams, uh, Basuma, Gallagher's in there at a 90. Uh, you've got Phillips, Howley, Dominicus. This is the standard really now, especially when it becomes around like the 80 rated to 75. You kind of see the normal ones, if anything. Rodri's looking at a 95. So let's go into the new players and see what we're looking at then. So... We have got, oh, Orbidorf we've got in. 95 raid, 1.1 mil. Let's let's just load up all of them. We can have a look at all of them, might as well. It was Bonmati here. So, the first one in Or Orbidorf. It's just a very satisfying Orbidorf. It's, it's just a very satisfying name, but 84 on the pace. Sprint speed a little bit lower. Good dribbling, great composure. Passing decent, physicality defending, very good, as we can imagine. Intercept and Bruiser as the play star pluses. Definitely not terrible and can go into a center back if we put a shadow on her. That's a phenomenal center back. 91 pace, 97 defending. A little bit of a waste. I would definitely say CDM. You, you've just got to, but definitely not terrible. We then have Rodri at 3.1. Only a four upgrade. I'm surprised he's not 96, to be honest with you. We've got a four star, four star. What was this version? Four star, four star standard. So 90, uh, 95. 88 pace, which is a 5 increase there. That's good. Or only a 2 increase to the ice card. Ice card was good. Then we've got shoot in a little bit. Good shot power. Long shot. Passing wise, again, freaky accuracy crossing, dropping it down. Good dribbling, defending physical. Standard. Standard. I've only just realized that they've actually killed him. What on earth are them play style pluses? Bruiser and press proven. Wow, and it's, and this this is my whole argument with the play style pluses. So when you look at this, you've got press proven. What's the other one? Is it bruiser? You got power shot. This is where the double play style plus just really doesn't make a difference. To be honest with you, bruiser or press proven, not a fan of. They're not going to be my number one. Intercept would definitely be there. We then have got the man Jude Bellingham, Cam CDM center mid, six point four mil technical and power shot, very nice indeed. What do we got then? 90, 88, 90, 96, 99, 1. That is incredible. That's, that is a brilliant card. That is crazy. What, what are we going for Chemstar? Do we go, do we go just something shooting so everything's 90? That is nuts of a card. Passing pretty much maxed out. Vision's great. Physicality. Defending's decent. People are saying anchor. What would, would you go anchor really? 94, 96, 96. I mean, regardless of whatever you do with the card, that is a br The only thing that that card needs now is a 5-5. Five, five. That is perfect. Right, we have got Putielis. Finesse, first touch, naturally a 5-5, five, five, which is perfect because that is every other version of her. She's extinct at 4.75. Stat-wise, 90, 95, 96, 97. Oh, if we just got some there. What are, we, what are we saying with the anchor? 85, 91. Still, as, as good as ever. If you manage to get like a Putielis, Bon Matty, Bellingham combination, you've just broke the game. Now, Kev with the luscious locks that he's come back with, honestly. 4 million coins. We've got pinged pass and finesse. 4 star, 5 star. Pace has gone up a little bit, which is good. 7 upgrade from there. 13 from the base. Good shooting, passing elite. 
dribbling, decent agility balance could be doing there with an engine. Potentially, I feel like a lot of people are just going to whack anchor on him more than anything. 85, 89, yeah, that would probably be about right. Is it already there? Shadow, someone's going shadow instead. I mean, it would make his pace 93. I suppose he doesn't need that much physicality. Decent. And then finally, the is it the Ballon d'Or win, uh, winner for women? I know she won uh, female of the year, I think, or was that... Uh, I can't remember who won it, but Ballon d'Or is, is in her hand. So 97, four-star, five-star. They haven't upgraded her for that five. 90, 91, 91, 98, 83, 81. Wow. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. That midfield is just disgusting it's just perfect like i say if you can get a triple even if you just got bon matty and putiellas i mean it's not as if they're cheap you've got what six mil and 4.75 so a 10 to 11 million coin midfield is definitely on the cards but just incredible bellingham looks cracked as ever i would like a bit of rodri and cdm never gonna lie there and then kdb is just an extra flow on top i'm actually surprised he didn't go a bit more they've kind of They've dropped out a little bit. I felt like Bellingham and, and uh, KDB could have been 97, 98, but clearly they're waiting for the upgrades. It's kind of what we're expecting. Previous team of the years, like a few years back, was like this was the first 99. Like you'd get a 99 Mbappe, or say 99 Messi and Ronaldo, and then they just keep going up in the ratings. Whereas now, they're not bringing the first 99 yet. It'll kind of be footies or, or even team of the season would be the first 99. But incredible content. We've got more grinding to do as ever. Like I say, it is just going to be a wait until we get into that final hold of the all releasing. We have got the daily login, so make sure you are doing that because that is now a reward for day. And I've heard, in fact, I've just seen it pop up on my phone that we have got a lot of promo packs. Let's investigate there because that is going to kind of seal the deal here. I don't know how expensive they can go now because we've already seen, what, 750 we have got, let's have a quick look then, global limits, uh, 15 times midfielder, fair enough, ice, uh, yeah, ice bread, don't care, 85 times 7 is 2,000 FIFA points, <clears throat> I, just, I just don't get it, 2,000 for 7 cards is criminal, what is, what is the team of the year, the team of the year is less than a percent, and this is why they've kind of forced you into this like major pack, because at least at the minimum, you've got a 3.6 chance, but you do get 30 cards instead for a 1,000 FIFA points more. So what else have we got? We've got the 30 coin as standard. It looks like it's just all refreshed. So there's nothing too different there. I swear to God, if you give me Messi there, I will lose it. I've been seeing, oh my God, I've got so many. You get, literally, I need to do so many SPCs. It's crazy. But what else do we have? we got the Nano by the looks of it. So no, I don't want to go there. we got what? What do we get? they got the Nano... So the Nano, Team of the Year Nano obviously gives you the loan. We've got the Team of the Year Essentials, 30 cards, one guaranteed 86, 500 FC points. We then have the Team of the Year Foundations, includes 25, 80 or higher, one guaranteed 87. We then have the Premium 75 golds that are 80. And then we also have the Final Elite. And I believe we'll get an Ultra, I think it is, or something like that, later on today, which kind of finishes it off. They basically lure you in with these packs, you buy one of them, and then it's like, here you go, here's a 4,500 FC point pack to open. So pretty standard from day two. I can imagine what we can expect in the Defenders release is going to be pretty much the same as this. So don't go all in just yet because we are going to get the full team, and I can imagine they will go all out. But let me know down below what you think, and what is your highest rated evolution so far? Make sure you like and subscribe. Peace.